This is problem number one from section 5.5. Hopefully if you watched the uh, video over u substitution with indefinite integrals uh, on YouTube. Uh, but as we're going to solve this, they give us the u substitution. So remember, we're trying to decide uh, whether or not we want the top to be u or the bottom uh, 4 minus x squared to be u. And our goal is to cancel out all the x va variables so that we just end up with u variables in there. Because right now how this is sitting, we're not able to integrate this. We want to get this into a simpler form so that we can use our integration rules to uh, integrate this. So they tell us u is 4 minus x squared. So let's go ahead and write that. u equals 4 minus x squared. So that means that du over dx, so derivative of u with respect to x, is equal to, well, if I do the derivative over here, that's 0. That's negative 2x. Now, my goal here is to replace dx with some expression and to really place 4 minus x squared with u, of course. So I need to rewrite this so it says dx equals something. So I'm going to multiply by dx to this side. That means I have du equals negative 2x dx. Now you'll probably end up skipping this step eventually uh, and just going straight here. And then afterwards I'm going to divide by negative 2x and that would be du over negative 2x equals dx. Now at this point we're going to start to substitute some stuff in. So this equals the integral of x over, this would be u squared, we substitute this in, this is du over negative 2x. And you can see why we did the u substitution, because you have x on top, you have x on the bottom, we're going to cancel those out, so that's going to be equal to uh, integral, that would just be when the x is cancel, that gives you uh, 1 over negative 2 u squared du. Then we can go a little farther. We can take out this uh, negative 1 half, put it outside. So negative 1 half. Integral 1 over u squared du. And you can see that this is now a much easier integral to, to deal with. So we can go ahead and evaluate this. That's going to equal negative 1 half integral, this would be u to the negative 2 du, when we rewrite this uh, and move this to the top, the exponent now is negative, so then we can actually do the integration, add 1 to this, and divide by it, so we end up with negative 1 half times, that would be u, when you add 1 to the negative 1, over negative 1 and then you would have plus c. So then uh, we can move this u to the bottom and we can distribute the negative a half. So that's going to be one half. Uh, that would be one, uh, one half times one over u because the two negatives cancel. Uh, plus, now when you take the negative one half and you multiply it times a c, uh, that's just going to be a constant. c stands for a constant, so this times this is still just some constant. So plus c, which gives you uh, 1 over 2u plus c. And the last step we want to actually substitute in the u. So we have 1 over 2, and then we have 4 minus x squared, which was u plus c, and uh, we could distribute there if we wanted to, but this is the integral for uh, this function with a u substitution of 4 minus x squared.